What if I told you there was a grenade launcher that completely outclassed every other grenade launcher in the game? That's right, even more powerful than something like Mountaintop. And that is, of course, Martyr's Retribution. Or just Marty. We're just calling it Marty, boys. Now, for some reason, it's only got 3.8 out of 5 stars inside of PvE and 2.5 stars inside of Crucible, which just blows my mind. This beautiful grenade launcher is nasty. Now, intrinsically, this is an entirely new archetype. It's called Waveframe. It's a one-shot handheld grenade launcher, but its projectiles releases a wave of energy when they contact the ground. Essentially, the equivalent of like a thermite grenade. Now, it only does one discharge. Only one wave of flames goes towards your enemies, but it's got some reach. On top of that, it does 130 damage when coming into contact with any enemy in its path. That means the damage doesn't drop off when it hits one enemy. It's not distributed in any kind of way no it's a flat damage of 130 to all enemies in that thermite wave now what's so curious to me about something like marty is the potential with this archetype what if we had one for arc or for void you see where i'm going with this guys this new archetype of grenade launcher is so intriguing because it opens up a weapon type that i didn't think bungie could really evolve outside of what we already had like when we think of archetypes of grenade launchers that really think outside of the box Fighting line to me is one. That's pretty much because it's a primary. Another one, of course, is Mountaintop, as it does so much damage on direct impact. They actually took a step back with Marty, though. They made Marty do more damage in its AoE effect to multiple enemies without giving us the immediate kill. To me, guys, the play style that I've incorporated here is excellent. I combined it with a sidearm, and my god, was it deadly. Now, let's go into the roles that I have. This is not the god role. I mainly just wanted to show you guys the potential that this grenade launchers present and in the making of this video i actually got the god roll but majority of the gameplay here is just of the previous grenade launcher that we have which of course came with volatile launch implosion rounds auto loading holster as well as moving target now we actually did a video yesterday breaking down all the weapon rolls and weapons inside a season of dawn and what you should be looking for but martyr's retribution actually has a lot of unique roles to it number one it can roll something like elemental capacitor which gives us an increase in stats based on the currently equipped subclass similar to something like osmosis this actually ties into things like reload speed handling as well as stability now for this one to me solo would be the way to go like i'm combining most of this gameplay with thermite grenades and the ability to throw down a thermite grenade and simultaneously shoot a wave of fire with this grenade launcher really sets the world on fire which is pretty amazing matter of fact I would say actually shoot the grenade launcher first, let your thermite grenade roll out second. That way you could proc something like Sun Warrior with those sunspots. And again, every consecutive kill after that inside of PvP, that one to one ratio will continue to spawn sunspots. Now, another trait found on this weapon that's also a new one is lead from gold. Picking up heavy ammo also grants ammo to this weapon. An interesting one, especially if you're combining this with the artifact mod, heavy finisher. This may actually be one of the best perks if you're trying to keep special ammo for this grenade launcher at all times. But then again, heavy finisher does burn your super. So there's pros and cons to both of those. But for me, the god roll that I've been seeking, that I actually got, was of course the trait auto loading holster, which is a fantastic trait to have on a single shot grenade launcher and demolitionist. Kills with this weapon generate grenade energy. But something to remember about demolitionist is that activating your grenade ability will reload this weapon from reserves. So if you shoot your grenade launcher first, throw your grenade, you can shoot immediately right after that. There's so many builds we can do with this. And I'm not gonna lie guys, this is gonna piss some people off. This grenade launcher is gonna anger people. All of the gameplay you're seeing right here, these are not happy folks, man. They're getting hit with a wave of fire and cleaned up with a sidearm. What meta is this? And the sidearm, by the way, is Smuggler's Word. But don't worry, guys. A sidearm video. I promise. I'm going to get it out tomorrow. We're going to go over sidearms because there are some deadly sidearms in this meta. They are so good. And for this particular build right here inside of PvP, it's disgusting. But that is the god roll to me. I know you got things like field prep. You've got Genesis. I'm not against those things. All I'm saying is that auto loading holster with demolitionist, to me, is a fantastic combination for both PvP and for PvE. And if you're rocking something like single point sling, which I highly recommend inside of PvP, that immediate swap back to your primary weapon will always make for easy cleanup. Now, I've had a few questions about Martyr's Retribution. 
or Marty. People have asked me, can this grenade launcher spawn sunspots by itself? Considering it is a thermite grenade effect, it actually doesn't. It's still considered a weapon kill, meaning if you get a kill with this grenade launcher, no, you will not see a sunspot spawn. That would be deadly. May even be overpowered. And at the time, we actually looked at this weapon about three, four months ago, and I hope I could say this, but I got to play with this weapon back in September. And at that time, I said, hey, I would love it if this grenade launcher could spawn sunspots. Now, that was before we actually received a buff to sunspots, as well as just bottom tree sunbreaker in general. And Bungie at the time didn't really say much about that whenever I mentioned it. But if that was to be the case now in this sandbox with the buffs to Sun Warrior and Bottom Tree Sunbreaker in general, it probably would have been overpowered. But inside of PvE, if you obtain the Sun Warrior perk, which is something easy to do, especially if you're combining it with certain exotics like Phoenix Cradle, these are the multipliers of kills that you have to get. Now, it's a one-to-one -one ratio inside of Crucible to spawn a Sunspot. So if you have the Sun Warrior perk, you get a kill, you spawn a Sunspot, right? And you just step in it and keep refreshing it, which is a very nice buff. But inside of PvE, you have to get four kills on most miners, which is a little more difficult with other weapons, considering the time duration that it takes to get those kills, especially if enemies are a little more spread out. For Marty, though, it's a lot easier. As it does release that entire flame, you may not get that sunspot right there in front of you. But on that tail end of enemies, if it gets up to four kills, which it most likely will, especially if there's a lot of ads in front of you, you'll spawn sunspots. And again, you can just continue to rinse and repeat here, throwing thermite grenades left and right, proccing demolitionists, drop into your primary weapon while your weapon auto loads. You see where I'm going with this, guys? There's so much synergy with this weapon. I'm honestly so impressed with this grenade launcher. Now, as far as the magazine perks go, as well as the launch barrel perks, I haven't confirmed it, but most grenade launchers are capped at 55 blast radius, which this grenade launcher already meets that. I'm under the impression that this one also caps out at 55, which kind of opens things up to push our stats more into velocity, which is what I would do. So essentially something like hard launch, Launch, maybe even something like quick launch and as far as our magazine perks you've got high velocity rounds or implosion rounds i don't really know if either one of these affects the thermite wave effect again it states that it increases the weapons projectile so before it actually makes contact with the ground it essentially just increases that velocity and both of these do that one just actually hurts the blast radius but gives you more stability which is implosion rounds while the other one increases reload speed as well as velocity i would say either one of these is just fine again the emphasis here in terms of reaching the god roll is more on the trait combinations than anything else so guys that is martyrs retribution a fantastic grenade launcher it has a certain play style that i think many people will not try as a lot of people like grenade launchers that do immediate damage aka something like mountaintop to me for my play style i loved it i was able to hit enemies effectively that were hiding in cover i would time the jumps of my enemies as they would land that wave of fire would hit them and for pve it's one of the best ad clearing weapons in the game it's fantastic again it takes some work that demolitionist role though will go hand in hand especially with something like bottom tree sunbreaker Play around with it, guys. Throw some mods on it. And don't treat this like a normal grenade launcher. Treat it like an extension to your thermite grenades. An accessory. One that does very good damage. And considering that it's just a legendary, it does open up a lot of exotics in that kinetic slot. You can rock things like Last Word. We are also sitting in somewhat of a sidearm meta. So boys, pull out a Rat King. Maybe even go with Huckleberry. There's a lot of options in that slot that can be utilized so well here with Martyr's Retribution. It hurts my soul, boys, when I see reviews on this weapon like this. Try it out, fellas. If you master it, it is such a hard thing to counter. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.